I think the expectations are actually pretty high. Um, you know, I felt last year we underachieved a bit. Uh, we could have done some things better. We had, you know, some games that we were up and we lost. And I think the team understood, you know, um, coming into this year uh, that we need to take it up a notch and, and close games. And I think a lot of it had to do with experience, uh, lack of experience last year in a lot of places. We did start some freshmen. So I think them not being used to, you know, uh, college ball um, and how to close out games, I think that had a lot to do with it. But, you know, the expectations are really high for us right now. I think that we have a great team that we put together. Um, the good thing is, is this is a core back from last year. So I think sometimes you learn from failure, then you learn for success and we're ready to um, you know make some noise. Victoria's improved so much uh, with us being here. I know she was already a good player when we got here, um, but I think her outside shooting ability, I think that'll be a lot better this year. Uh, she's been really working on that in the off season, just being more accurate with her three point shots. I think rebounding, we're expecting her to rebound the ball a lot better. Um, and you say she averaged eight a game last year. Well, that's not enough. You know, I think she needs to average about 10 to 12 rebounds a game. So we're really expecting her to do that um, for us. But, you know, on the court, I think sometimes we go as she goes. And I I think she really realizes it now, having a full year under her belt with our coaching staff. I would say the rivalry is, is just like any other in the country. Um, you always want to beat the person that, you know, that's down the street, that's right there. I think our girls get extra hype uh, for the game, just like their players do. Um, there's no love lost, I would say that much. Um, but I think that it's an intense rivalry that we enjoy having. We just don't like having it at 9.30 in the morning. It's the first game in the MAC. <laughs> yeah, we have two freshmen that we brought in this year. Uh, Claire Wanzer, who's a local product from Amherst, and Emerald Ekpeteta. I have to always slow myself down with saying her name from England. Um, you know, both of those players are not expected to, you know, totally contribute right away. I think Claire will surprise some people. Um, her summer has been very, very good. Uh, Emerald is still adjusting to playing basketball in the USA, so I think she'll come along a little bit late. Um, as for the transfers, um, you know, they're players that have played in the ACC and the Atlantic 10. So for them, I think they've just been chomping at the bit, ready to go, and they've definitely kicked our butt, you know, in practice last year, so I think they're ready. Leadership on the court, I think for Victoria, Kaylee and Jamie, who've played a lot of games, you know, with us as, as their coach, uh, they understand what the expectations are. Uh, they've raised the bar in the summer for us, um, all three of them, you know, as well as, you know, some of the juniors on the team. But I think for them, um, they're going to know what to do in those crucial situations now towards the end of the game because they've been in them now, you know, for a while. Um, so I think they're going to be the heartbeat of the team. They're going to be the ones rallying, you know, the troops, as they say, um, you know, if we're getting down, how are we making this run? It's all going to come down to those three players and how they react with the rest of their teammates. There's been some really great moments. Um, uh, last season, uh, you know, being down at Marist um, at halftime, it was not looking pretty good for us. And to see the team really pull it together and, you know, execute the game plan in the second half was really just incredible, you know, to see. And um, that was a huge road win for us at a time that we really needed it in February. And um, we couldn't have been more proud of them that way. Um, there's obviously the rivalry game that we had um, with Canisius um, in the playoff game at 9.30 in the morning. <laughs> uh, it was a great game. Both teams battled, and, you know, it could have gone either way. And, you know, this year it didn't necessarily go our way. We got the game into overtime. But I think those are moments that you remember. Um, you know, I think during the first year it's – you know, just playing against Fairfield here at home and being able to sneak out a win. And they were preseason, you know, number one uh, for that year. And, you know, just there's a lot of countless memories, but those are the three that kind of really come to mind right now.